I did want to touch on briefly reporting of COVID-19 diagnostic tests and antibody tests. So this was covered in a large piece by The Atlantic that just came out. Um, we're seeing at the level of the CDC and as well as a number of states, not all states in the US, but Pennsylvania, Texas, Georgia, Vermont, and previously Virginia and Maine, although they've fixed their data at this point, were counting positive and negative results from diagnostic tests and antibody tests together and reporting those as one package. And again, to reiterate, we're seeing this at the level of the CDC in terms of how they're presenting their website on their new coronavirus tracker that they launched recently. The reason you need to count these tests separately is because diagnostic tests are key for determining whether someone has an active COVID-19 infection right now. Antibody tests look at whether that person has been exposed to the virus at any point in time previously. So if you have antibodies circulating in your blood that are specific to COVID-19, that would indicate that you perhaps have already recovered from an infection or have been exposed in the past. Antibody tests do not tell you if you have an active infection. Diagnostic tests do. If you lump the two together, not only are they talking about two very different things, but because antibody tests can be given to anyone and diagnostic tests are more likely to be given to people who are presenting with symptoms or are going to the hospital for some reason, you're going to get a misleading positive test rate if you count that together. You're more likely to get high negative test rate from antibody tests given that a large proportion of the population still has not caught COVID-19. It's not, it hasn't touched the vast majority of people. Otherwise we would have already crossed that threshold over into herd immunity. That threshold is very, very high. We are not anywhere near that threshold yet. So if you're giving antibody tests widely and you combine that data with data from diagnostic tests, you're going to muddy the waters and dampen what it means for a positive result to surface. Um, so all that said, the data should re be reported separately because they're talking about different things. And if you're conflating them, it can make it appear that the positive test rate is going down when it's not actually going down, which of course has implications for when and why states open up.